The Only Word Determined to distort God's word by hook or crook or thief, destroying the foundation of the truths that we believe through studied alteration of the structure of God's word that people will believe far more than the things that they have heard. Instead of deep, inspired truths that God would share with them, if they would take the time upon their knees to learn of him, abandoning their feelings to allow his spirit in, infusing them with grace to overcome their hidden sin. For what we call translations are indeed the devil's tool to keep us in confusion, as his solitary rule that through the generations from the time of Christ till now, a hierarchy could determine what we believe and how, to live and to believe of what our God would have of men, instead of showing them the truth of how to draw to him, through one pure literation that God shared so long ago, the text received by those of old, who sought his will to know, his purpose, and his planning, that would make us all as one, that as a mighty army we could finish what he'd done, when through his own great sacrifice he paid on Calvary and spoke the words forever to inspire you and me, the words the devil hated that destroyed his battle plan, the promise of salvation that God gives to every man that will embrace one sacred word, that all as one might be, inspired by his spirit to obtain the victory. As by one pure authority, God opens up the minds of those who were so worldly wise, their hearts were worldly blind. They felt the need to manifest their ignorance of him who promised he would never fail to be the guide of them. So if you're prone to argue that the other words are fine, and that the Lord will honor what you think will ease your mind, remember that he cannot show the truth that you should know, unless by faith you follow him and where he would have you go. And by his grace embrace the text wherein God does abide, the text received for centuries that holds his power inside. For reference, Psalm 119, 103 through 105, Jeremiah 15, 16, and Isaiah 8, 20.